I am Ron S. Day. Uh, I'm responding to uh, uh, a video that Mark Rhodes uh, made. And uh, we we're talking about the, uh, a six fret system. We we're talking about, oh, by the way, I have uh, seven strings on this guitar. So this is my, uh, I'll be just working with the top six. So you'll have to put your glasses on like I do. Uh, anyway, um, what you have here is two through six. What I'm looking at is basically two through five with the shift up to six or shift down down to one to play those five scales that he talked about. Uh, I have it here. C, F, B flat, E flat, and G. Or you could put A flat instead of G. Uh, but you can play all 12 keys in six frets. Now where I got this from is it's pretty simple. And when I was about 19 years old, my buddy Les Weiss came over to the house with a Joe Pass record. And I listened to that and I said, wow, this guy plays so accurate. And I could hear where he would be in, in the same position playing all the different changes. Um, as, uh, as fate would have it, when I got to uh, L.A., I was about 22 years old. And I went and saw Joe at, uh, at Dante's. And I was with Mundell Lowe, who was a friend of mine. And I call him my Uncle Mundy. Um, so Uncle Mundy set up a few lessons with me. And as it turned out, I happened to be right. I got it right. So if you watch Joe, um, you know, we, this is C. Um, pattern one. Now, um, the main thing about this is that you want to play the patterns. I'll play F. And B flat down. You notice I'm playing from the lowest point to the highest point in each position, okay? And that's important because you see a lot of guys play and they play on the, just the top four strings. Not a good idea for playing good melodies and uh, good motifs and things like that. So anyway, uh, so uh, let's see, where did I leave off? B flat, so the E flat is here. And A flat would be here. All right, now if I did D flat, if I played that first pattern, I'd be out of my six, six frets from F up to B flat. So what you do is you go back down to connect the next one. And there's only five patterns. And here's G flat. And here's B. through all 12 keys. Now, if you want to know what scale patterns I'm playing, I'm playing the ones with the little shifts like like Joe played. If Joe played a, a line, you know, even when, particularly if you watch him play solo guitar, you know, he'd play like a, play like a sharp nine, sharp five chord, and he'd play a line right there. You know, whatever, whatever the form was, What it, whatever the form was, he had he had a single line to go with that with that form, and that's what those scales give you uh, those things. Um, and just um, I, Mark was talking about the simplicity of the scales, but for those of you um, who want to get that book, the complete jazz, you know, I wrote that you know when knighthood was in flower. I don't even remember. Um, um, I'll give you the, the five patterns. And I'll do them all in C so you can see it. So pattern one would start, you notice I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start the open string. It's the first closed pattern, so that's my pattern one. And that's the way Joe thought about it too. Um so here's C, pattern one. Here's C, pattern two. This starts on the five, pattern one starts on the five, pattern two starts on the six. And you notice a shift, not a stretch, not this. You know, re 
reach back. Now I play the the the, the three on the string and all of that like the, a lot of the guys do. But anyway, to continue, um, pattern three would be on a B, starting on a B here at seventh fret. Pattern four would be starting on the second, or D. And then you notice again the shift here. And then pattern five would be that open string one, but closed because it's at the 12th fret. So basically what it's about, you can play all 12 keys within six frets. And this will work mostly also for harmonic and melodic minor and and, and things like that too. It's it, it's it runs pretty close. Um, so I hope that managed to clear up some of the stuff that uh, that that he was talking about. And he said that book was uh, still available somewhere online. I know. Uh, uh, let's see. I think it was Ernie Ball who originally did the book, and then another company took it over, but. Uh, uh, it's a pretty good book, and I, I wrote the book at the time for uh, guys who were playing, you know, top forty and, and the blues and things like that, who wanted to get a little handle on jazz, and and uh, so I would I would play out of, out of those you know simple positions and just play a line, you know, one five one, one six two five. That's a whole bunch of that stuff in there. Anyway, Mark. Uh, I'm glad you did that, and you were right on the money, and I just wanted everybody to know the source of that, and thank you very much, and uh, keep picking and grinning. And I got my uh, CB guitar here, and my Evans amp, and my pick. <laughs> Turn the thing off, CB. And coffee and smokes. And coffee and smokes. I'm good. Thank you, Ron.